Take it easy, no stress. Hi there. In this video, we're going to show you how this animation was created and edited in Cascadeur. For inspiration and reference, we used the video by Dory Dance. She posts amazing content, you should check her out. We used Quick Magic for video mocap and it turned out brilliant. So let's import the animation that we got. For the video mocap, we used the Mixamo character, mocap's full body and hands, and included T-Pose in the export, which allows us to automatically rig the character in Cascadeur. It's always a good idea to clean up the animation on your final character. So we're going to open up a new project, load up Cassie, and retarget the animation. Make sure to select enough frames in both projects before retargeting. Once everything is selected, go to Edit, Retargeting Copy, then go to the project with your character, go to Edit, Retargeting Paste. Now let's compare the retargeting to the original animation. Now, one of the reasons Quick Magic Mocap works so well with Cascadeur is because they seem to pay a lot of attention to the feet, specifically forcing that position and preventing them from sliding too much which in turn allows Cascadeur to determine fulcrum points correctly, which then means that a lot of tools that Cascadeur has to offer, such as animation on baking, fulcrum motion cleaning and auto physics, are going to work correctly. So here we have a T-pose at frame zero. If you want to skip it, you can set the start frame to minus one and set the working area to start from frame zero. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to use animation on baking. I figured these parameters work best with this animation, namely I set autoposing to be more precise because there's a lot of intricate movement in this animation and we want to keep the poses as close to the original as possible. Then let's make sure that the fulcrum points are determined correctly, which in this case they are. Again, Quick Magic does a very good job at forcing the feet. And now we can use fulcrum motion cleaning to prevent the feet from sliding. So these steps provide a solid base for further animation cleanup and editing. That's exactly what we're going to do next. We're going to zoom in into smaller intervals and fix the poses step by step. Hope you will have fun watching it.
So now when our mocap is all cleaned up, we can use auto physics to further improve the animation, make it flow better and add extra filters like secondary motion. And again, it's a good idea to apply physics to smaller intervals just to have a better control over what result it gives. In the physics tab, make sure you set it to work on interval and enable and adjust the filters that you're going to be using. For this animation, we're going to be using physics corrector as a hundred smooth trajectory to smooth out the trajectory of the center of mass, compensation motion and secondary motion. You don't have to use them all at once, you can have multiple passes with physics, just make sure not to overlay same filters too much. So let's check the physics results for the first interval. When you like what you see, just snap the physics and move on to the next interval. And here we have it, the final animation. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. That really helps to grow the channel. And also YouTube, please don't copyright strike this video, will ya? Anyways, have a good one and see you next time. I'm also gonna say something here just to keep talking over the music. Maybe this is going to help. Definitely check out Quick Magic for the video mocap and thanks for watching.